This is what it's come to, me watching movies about girls decomposing, and I'm not proud of it. What's up everybody, back today with another review for you. It's going to be for Thanatomorphos, which actually came out in 2012, but I'm barely getting around to seeing it. I just had to see it after I heard some people on YouTube talking about it. Gets a lot of comparisons to a movie I reviewed last year called Contracted. Basically the same story, I would consider Contracted more the mainstream version of this story because this one tried to be a little artsy and it really got gory by the end of this film. So let's get into a little bit. The word Thanatomorphos basically means death morph. What happens to a body once it's dead and starts decomposing, basically. And you can look up Thanatos, the Greek god, and read a little bit more. It kind of plays into the story. So the movie basically starts off with this girl and she's having sex with her boyfriend and he leaves and she wakes up in the morning and she has these bruises and from there... Just straight downhill, starts deteriorating, starts losing her mind. The whole movie takes place inside her apartment. Um, and by the end of the film, there's a lot of gore. So let's get into the good and the bad. Basically, the best part about the movie is the very end. It saved the entire thing for me. I was sick of the movie by the end of it. And the way they ended it, the final scene, I was like, hell yeah. That was pretty cool. That was actually worth sitting for an hour and 40 minutes and watching. The effects are pretty crazy, especially by the end. Um, that's what most people that like this movie like the effects, all the gore, the slime. It's basically kind of like a melt movie a little bit with the art house sort of French feel. That's kind of the impression I got, the art house uh, styling. But I did detect also in the makeup some flaws too when they show the hands and stuff close up. You know, there are some weakness, but by the end, if you're a gore hound, you're going to like it. It gets pretty nasty, pretty gory. I enjoyed this part of the movie. I am not ashamed to say it. It was gross, but slightly fascinating at the same time and another thing i kind of liked about it was the way they shot the film but only half the time because the other half of the film just annoyed me the cinematographer benoit lemire is his name i don't want to avoid missing his name because i think he needs to be called on the carpet because a lot of this damn film was blurry i know some of it was for effect because the lighting and everything's pretty good i liked some of the scenes the way they're shot but it was too much blurriness, and some of the stuff was just blurry to be, because I think they just filmed it, and they didn't realize it was blurry, probably because they were in such a hurry. I'm calling them on the carpet. It's not all artsy crap. Some of that blur was a mistake, I'm, I'm telling you. And that was the thing that bugged me the most about this movie, was the technical things like that that pissed me off, because it tried to be artsy, but at the same time, I feel that they were just trying too hard to be artsy. Oh, let's throw in some weird fever dreamish type shit about a body rotting and stuff like that. And it kind of works on some levels. You know, I, I think this guy was trying to be a little too much like Cronenberg. He came with a paper thin script and it just didn't work too good. The thing that, besides the grossness, because this film's way grosser than Contracted, the other thing I think Contracted is way better in was that you actually fell for the girl. In this movie, you don't, you just kind of think she's like a hipster and kind of annoying. By the end of the film, I did feel a little something for her, but the majority of the film, I was just kind of like, oh, and it, you know, took till she was half dead for me to be like, God, I poor thing, just die already, you know? So I was not feeling for the main character, and that's hard to sit through a movie for an hour and 40 minutes, especially when it's a movie about her deteriorating. You should set up with caring for her a little bit. The girl in Contracted was a little more uh, likable, I guess. I don't know. This girl isn't as likable, but that's the whole tone of this movie. This whole movie has this monotone sort of one vibe, like, uh, I, I don't want to use the term emo or goth, but basically it's about a girl deteriorating, so it's kind of like gothic, you know, obviously. So overall, that's all I got to really say about Thanatomorphos. I wasn't super grossed out, even though, warning, it is gross, but I watch a lot of movies like that, so it didn't gross me out as bad. But the thing that bugged me the worst was, you know, the lacking in the technical aspects of the filmmaking and just the paper-thin plot. Everything else could have been good if they would have tweaked that a little better. If you're into the gore, you'll like it. But I'm only going to give it 2.5 out of 5. The end scene saved it for me. It would have been 2 out of 5. But, you know, the last scene was worth a half a point right there. The final scream thing, that was cool. You'll know what I'm talking about when you see the movie. So if you've seen Thanatomorphos, let me know down below. Don't watch it with your first date. Uh, what would you think of the movie? If you watch it with your first date, she's never going to talk to you again. She's going to think you're a weird, gross motherfucker. Um, hopefully nobody from my work's watching this. Yeah, what would you think of Thanatomorphos down below? And I'll see you next time, guys.